Hey guys, Jack here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. We've just unboxed the Galaxy S24 and this is going to be a quick and simple video showing you how to set it up for the first time. So this will apply to all the models from the S24, the Plus and the S24 Ultra. Should be a pretty similar process. Obviously the Ultra does have the S Pen. But all you want to do is once you've unboxed it, go ahead and hold the power button on the right hand side here, just below the volume rocker. It will power up and present you with this welcome screen where it flips through different languages. So you just want to tap this blue button here. Then you want to go down, select your language and country. So in my case, I'm going to go to English United Kingdom, hit next. Then you've got here for your review, you have to agree to at least the top one there to continue, but you don't have to agree to the bottom one. Then you've got the option to transfer from another device with easy setup. So if you have a Galaxy or Android, you can tap that one, iPhone or iPad, or if you want to set it up manually, you can do that. And you can see that it's telling you you'll download um, a QR code, well, scan a QR code, and it'll probably get you to download an app to transfer. But in this case, we're just going to do it manually. Now it's going to ask us to sign in to the Wi-Fi. So we're just going to go ahead and do that and come back once that's done. Okay, so once you've signed in, it will go ahead and try and connect to a mobile network. You can see here we don't have a SIM installed, so you don't need it for the setup. But if you want to pop it in now, you just go ahead and pop out the SIM tray at the bottom there. There will be a SIM ejection tool in the box, or you can use a paper clip. If you need help with that, again, a video in the top right showing you how to do that. But you can see here you can transfer an eSIM from another device. So if you have a previous Android phone, go ahead and you can use that. Similarly, you can scan a QR code, search for mobile plans. So if you want to set one up directly on here or set up later in settings, so we'll tap that. Now it's just getting our phone ready. So just give it a minute. Then we've got the option again to copy apps across. So you can see here, choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account and more. We're going to head and hit do not copy, set it up as a fresh phone. You can still sign into Google, get your contacts through there. So that's still good. So you can see here the option to sign in if you want to your Google account, which I'd recommend doing. So you can obviously download all the apps and everything like that. So we'll go ahead and skip though. And then you've got the option for Google services to allow location, scanning, things like that, sending diagnostics. So you can really customize that if you want. I've just turned off the sending diagnostics, but left obviously location so you can use things like maps and um, everything like that then you've got the option to choose your default search engine so you can go ahead and choose if you want i'm going to just go with google then the option to set up a uh, pim password pattern along with fingerprint and facial recognition so we'll go ahead and do the fingerprint because it's got the built-in fingerprint scanner here and you obviously need to have a pin as well so we're going to go ahead and set a pin and we'll just type that in now. And then once that's done, it's gonna go ahead and ask us to register our finger. So we just tap register. And then you can see here, pretty big surface area. Just go ahead and hold your finger down. Nice and simple. Just keep doing that. And it's gonna scan the whole of our finger. Slightly move it around. So it's actually moving the scan or the image of where you should scan just to get the whole of your finger. So you can see here, fingerprint always on. So with the always on display, it will show where the fingerprint scanner is. So we'll leave that on. Same with the always on display. So hit continue, give it a minute. Then you've got the Samsung account as well. So if you wanna use that, you can sign in here and you can see they really hide if you don't have an account. So just tap down there and then set up later in settings. But if you do have one, you can see you can get everything like find my device, syncing the Samsung health. So if you have Samsung previously, just go ahead and sign in. Then you need to agree to again, at least the top one, scroll down and then hit agree. Then you've got Samsung service permission. So you can see here, customize service, gives you customized stickers, search results. So you can go ahead and switch these on if you want or turn them off. And then again, 
Here you've got the option of light and dark. So you can see if you hit dark, it turns everything black and we'll go ahead and leave it on light. But there will also be the option for the auto setting. And there we go, we hit finish and it should land us on the home screen. We give it a second, there we go. So landed on the home screen, all set up. And you can see here, service provider update. So it needs to restart and perform a update. So we'll go ahead, hit restart. But that is how you set up the Samsung Galaxy S24. And again, it's the same process across the board for the Plus model along with the Ultra. If you guys have any questions or problems, do post a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible with an answer. If you found this video useful, do please hit that like button down below. It really helps out the video and the channel. And if you're new, get subscribed over here on the left for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.